Hello engineers, welcome back to Engineering Design Simplified. In this video series, I will be solving tough engineering mechanics problems. If you want to watch more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and press that bell button so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. In this video, I am going to discuss pile and pile hammer. So this is the hammer and this is the pile. So the ha hammer has weight W1 and pile has weight W2. So in this video, I am going to discuss case one. So in case one, uh, hammer and pile move together after impact. So the case two, I will discuss in the upcoming videos. So in this video, I will first derive all the necessary equations and solve a problem at the end. So watch till the end. First, the hammer is raised to a convenient height h and freely dropped. It is guided to fall over the pile. After the hammer strikes uh, the pile, the hammer and pile move downwards together. So that is case one. So in case two, the hammer after impact rebounds. So that I will discuss in the upcoming video. The kinetic energy of the pile and the hammer is utilized in doing the work against resistance of the ground and the pile is driven by a distance s. Yes. By repeated hammering, the pile is driven to required depth. Today's topic was requested by Super Duper. If you have any other topic you want to learn about, please let me know in the comment section. Now let us derive equations. So first, uh, the hammer is raised to a height h. So at this point, the velocity of the hammer u1 equal to 0. So uh, just before impact, uh, let us see the conservation of energy equation. So here we have half m1 u1 square plus m1 g h1 equal to half m1 v1 square plus m1 g h2. So here u1 is the initial velocity of the hammer that is 0 and h2 that is after impact the h2 will become 0. So now call, let us call this h1 equal to h. And from this equation um, since u1 equal to 0 and h2 equal to 0 so this equation will become half m1 v1 square equal to m1 g h. So g is the acceleration due to gravity, h is the height, m1 is the mass of the hammer. So the v1 uh, velocity of the hammer just before impact will be v1 equal to square root of 2g h. Just before impact, the velocity of hammer is v1 and velocity of pile is u2 that equal to 0 since it is stationary before impact. After impact, both hammer and pile move together with a velocity v2. So now let us see momentum equation. So m1 u1 plus m2 u2 equal to m1 v1 prime plus m2 v2. So here u1 is the v1 here uh, velocity of hammer and u2 is initial velocity of the pile that is 0. And since both are moving together after impact v1 prime will be equal to v2. So this equation will become m1 v1 equal to m1 plus m2 into v2. So from this we can find combined velocity of hammer and pile after impact v2 equal to m1 v1 by m1 plus m2. After impact hammer and pile move together with a velocity v2 hence it has kinetic energy and move a distance s yes, inside the ground by uh, against the resistance of the ground that is r. So now let us apply work energy equation. So work done equal to uh, change in kinetic energy. So from this we can write uh, w1 plus w2 into s minus r into s equal to half of w1 plus w2 by g into u2 minus v2 square. So w1 plus w2 into s is work done by these two weights uh, and r into s is the work done by resistance of the ground against this uh, motion and this side of the equation is kinetic energy equation half mv square. So uh, since here u2 that is the initial velocity combined initial velocity of these two is 0. So this equation will become r into s equal to w1 plus w2 into s plus w1 plus w2 by 2g into v2 square. So now let us substitute uh, v2 uh, v1 v1 is the square root of 2gh so v1 square is 2gh and v2 w1 
v1 by w1 plus w2 so this equation will become after simplification the this equation will become r that is resistance offered by the ground equal to w1 plus w2 plus w1 square by w1 plus w2 into h by s newtons so w1 is the weight of the hammer and w2 is the weight of the pile now let us see loss of kinetic energy uh, during impact so initial kinetic energy will be half into w1 by g v1 square that is kinetic energy of hammer so after impact both hammer and pile move uh, with a, a velocity v2 so kinetic energy final kinetic energy will be half into w1 plus w2 by g v2 square so loss of kinetic energy equal to initial kinetic energy minus final kinetic energy so after substituting the values uh, this equation will become 2g h w1 by 2g minus w1 plus w2 by 2g into w1 square into 2g h by w1 plus w2 whole square. Mm -hmm. After further simplification, loss of kinetic energy equal to w1 into w2 into h by w1 plus w2 newton meters. Now let us see time during which the pile and hammer in motion. Uh, first let us see this uh, impulse momentum diagrams. So initially the pile and hammer have weights w1 and w2 and initial velocity u2 equal to 0 and impulsive forces on this system hammer and uh, pile uh, there is a load weight w1 plus w2 will be acting downwards and here at the bottom there is a resistance of the ground acting upwards. So the final momentum of this system will be the weight w1 and w2 and both of these move with the velocity v2 so now let us see momentum impulse impulse momentum equation here so mu plus sigma integral of f dt equal to mv so this is the initial momentum this is the uh, impulsive force uh, on the system and this is the final momentum so this equation will become since u2 equal to 0 so this equation will become sigma f dt equal to m into v minus u so u will be 0 here so this equation will be will become w1 plus w2 minus r into t so this uh, impulsive forces w1 plus w2 minus r in and time uh, time uh, into time so that equal to uh, w1 plus w2 by g into v2 this is the final momentum of the system so in the previous equation after substituting u2 equal to 0 and r value and simplification we get time during which uh, the hammer and pile move against the resistance of the ground equal to w1 plus w2 by w1 into s into square root of 2 by gh. So this is the time during which the pile and hammer move together. So this is not the time uh, during which impact happens that we will see in the coming slides now let us see impulse imparted by pile on hammer so let us see the impulse momentum diagram here so initially the weight uh, hammer of weight w1 uh, moved downwards with a velocity of v1 and impulsive forces on this hammer the will be like weight its own weight acting downwards and the resistance of the ground that is the resistance offered by the pile is acting upwards here so the final momentum this is the initial momentum this is the impulsive forces uh, impulse on the system and the final momentum will become the w1 uh, hammer w1 will be moving with a velocity v2 that is along with the uh, uh, pile in this case so this is the impulse momentum diagram so from this we can write the initial momentum m1 v1 plus uh, the um, the impulse that is integral of w minus r into dt equal to final momentum that is m1 v2 so let us see here uh, this equation here it will become so m1 v1 minus uh, if you neglect the w that is uh, weight of the hammer that will be smaller comparably very small uh, than this r so if you neglect that so this term will become minus 
integral of r dt so m1 v1 minus integral of r dt equal to m1 v2 so from this impulse imparted by pile on hammer can be written as integral of r dt equal to w1 by g into v1 minus v2 so m1 can be written as w1 by g so in this equation the time during which impact happens can be calculated by uh, moving this r to right side of this equation so the impulse imparted by hammer on pile can be calculated by using the similar method so that will be equal but opposite to this one so far we have derived all the necessary equations now let us solve a problem to understand more so in this problem we have taken w1 equal to 20 kN that is weight of the hammer w2 is weight of the pile that is 10 kN and h height is 750 mm and s that is a distance uh, traveled by hammer and pile in a single blow equal to 100 mm so in this problem let us see let us calculate all the values so first let us calculate v1 velocity of the hammer so v1 equal to square root of 2gh using this equation after substituting values and simplification we get v1 equal to velocity of hammer just before impact equal to 3.836 meters per second so after impact w1 and w2 that is hammer and pile move together so combined velocity after impact v2 equal to w1 v1 by w1 plus w2 using this equation and substituting values and simplification we get combined velocity of hammer and pile v2 equal to 2.557 meters per second now let us calculate resistance of the ground so using this equation and after substituting values and simplification we get resistance of the ground r equal to 130 kilonewtons time during which the pile and hammer move together can be calculated using this equation and after substituting the values and simplification we get t equal to 0.078 seconds impulse imparted by the pile on hammer is calculated using this equation so after substituting the values and simplification uh, impulse imparted by pile on hammer is equal to 2606.87 newton seconds so the impulse imparted by hammer on pile will also be same but in opposite direction so in this equation if you substitute uh, if you divide this by r that we have calculated in the previous slides we will get time during which the impact happens so finally loss of kinetic energy during uh, impact can be calculated using this equation w1 w2 h by w1 plus w2 so after substituting all the values and simplification we get loss of kinetic energy equal to 5000 newton meters that's all for today's video if you like this content please like share and subscribe thanks for watching